The last hurrah of the summer Labor Day weekend officially here. What you need to know about your sunscreen before you head out under the sun. Keeping your teeth healthy at any age when you need to start taking your child to the dentist. What your teeth condition means for your children and what some women need to look out for before they get pregnant. Going global. How a local beach ball company is helping Hollywood reach new heights and have fun. There are two new additions to the Salisbury Zoo. We're going to introduce them to you, plus why their arrival is so important. And Eric Carge is here to perform. Delmarva Life starts right now. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hoppo. Welcome to Delmarva Life from Historic Studio D. And we'd love to welcome our studio <laughs> audience this Friday afternoon. Welcome. Some red hats in there. Before you party animals get carried away, we just want you to know the bouncers are at the door. <laughs> okay, so if, if we need to handle you and settle you down, we can just start. Getting ready for a. <laughs> I cannot believe it's Memorial Day. I mean, Labor Day weekend. <laughs> it's not Memorial Day weekend, it's Labor Day weekend. I, it and, seems uh, like it's. I know, the came summer just flew by. Man. Yeah, but like I said, I'm ready to get into that, that whole fall schedule uh, with back to school and everything. Yeah. I just, I love, it's the most wonderful time of the year. We've seen some great pictures. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. We have seen some of the yes, greatest pictures of kids going back to school. Take a look at this, this is Luke Donaway. He's a ninth grader from Sharptown, Mardell Middle and High School. And this guy right here, oh, <laughs> he looks like trouble. This is Jeremy Watkins on his first day of kindergarten from Sharptown. Northwestern University. I bet you he is. Uh, this is going to be the picture that mom shows to his first date. Yeah. Oh. Here, yeah. let me show you something. <laughs> I bet you he's going to be the 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 a lot of fun. In yes, school. he is. Yes, he is. No doubt. Uh, we, you know, Kelly Pickler. We all heard last weekend that mm -hmm. the concert was rained out. I couldn't believe it. All you know, all the dry, so the dry summer we had, and then we had that big rain last weekend. Well, that concert has been rescheduled for October 27th. Now, want to let you know that your tickets from the August 25th date are valid, um, and the tickets that you won on Delmarva Life, because you know good. we were giving away tickets, they are good for the uh, uh, the October 27th date, yeah. and they still have more tickets as well. Of course, that uh, concert taken on uh, taken place at the amphitheater. At Heron Ponds. 54 up there on the Maryland side uh, of uh, Delmar. Yeah, that's yeah. right, right. Can't wait to see how well that um, goes. And of course, they have announced some other upcoming concerts. Uh, Diamond Rio is October 6th, and Christian rock group Cutlass is October 7th. So they're getting their lineups already. This is going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. By the time I get everything working there, that's going to be yeah. great. Well, it's an election year. We try to, uh, here on Delmarva Life, we, we try to avoid step carefully politics yeah. if we can but um it's a good time for us to especially us women to be thankful for our right to vote and that is why um the library up in laurel is presenting a free screening of iron jawed angels i don't know if you saw this a couple years ago it's an hbo movie about the hard fought battle for the right to vote that battle occurred more than 100 years ago. Wow. That's not very long it's if you think long. about it. Yeah, the Laurel Public Library in partnership with the Sussex County League of Women Voters is presenting this showing. It stars Hilary Swank, Angelica Houston, Patrick Dempsey, and Julia Ormond. So if you wanna go see that, they're encouraging that young women go see this movie. It's going to be Tuesday, September 18th from 4 to 6 p.m. in the Carpenter Community Room of the Laurel Public Library. They're gonna have a discussion following the showing. And like we said, it's free and appropriate for, they say, ages 14 and up. Right. But they're, like I said, totally they're encouraging it. you to bring your daughter. Cause you know, that right sometimes is taken for granted. And you can forget what that's all about. I guess mm -hmm. it's a great idea. Mm -hmm. um, let me change tracks real quick quick here. I just want to mention, uh, did you know last year the Maryland Poison Control Center received 864 calls? The Poison Control Center, 864 calls from Wicomico County, half of them kids that had inadvertently poisoned themselves with prescription medication for oh, wow, things yeah. like cardiac, gastrointestinal, thyroid issues, things like that. The reason I mention this, Delmar, Salisbury, and Fruitland, they all got together yesterday and they figured out how they can put out boxes at the various police departments for you to drop off your old 
and uh, your, your expired, your unused medications so the kids don't get a hold of them. Right. right just right. want to say, don't dump it. Used to be we just dump it down the toilet. Dump it down the toilet. Don't do that. Don't do that. Especially don't antibiotics. Down. Yeah, that'll go right back into the water. Mm -hmm. So just to let you know they're setting that up and you'll be able to do that here real quick. You know, yesterday on the show we talked about scams mm -hmm. and we talked about how seniors in particular are um, targets. Well, right. we have a local scam to worry, uh, warn you about. Pocomoke City Police Chief Calvin Sewell is warning residents about a telephone scam in which callers try to obtain credit card information by telling people they are wanted for arrest or that a family member has been arrested and they need the money for bail. We just talked about this yesterday. We just talked about this yesterday. Apparently several people have called in the Pocomoke City area complaining about this scam. So, uh, and, and the calls are coming in from um, blocked numbers on the caller ID. Oh. So they can't even you know provide a phone number. But please say, if you receive one of these phone calls, uh, do not respond to it. Uh, call the police, call the local authorities, let them right. know that you got this phone call. And if the number is not blocked, if a number shows up, write it down and turn it into police because they need to take care of this. Don't give them your information. Mm -hmm. um, in case you're interested, you still have time to register for the fourth annual PRMC Foundation 5K Fun Walk and Timed Run that's set up to honor Shelly Dayton Jones. Mm. Um, you may remember Shelly passed away in February of 2010 from cancer. She was uh, as they say, a strong, a positive, a giving spirit who deeply loved her family and friends. And she was also the wife of 30 years of uh, Dr. Conworth Dayton mm -hmm. Jones. Did I see his name? Yeah. Yes, you yeah. did. He's on the PRMC staff. Yeah, apparently so. she did a whole lot of uh, volunteer work for Salisbury School for several years. Yeah. So if you want to get involved with that, it, the 5K Run Walk uh, is it's the time to run Saturday, September 15th, 10 o'clock in the morning at the Avery Hall Education Building on the PRMC uh, campus. You can contact Christina Gordy. If you have any questions, there's the number, 410-543-7566. Oh, we have a whole bunch of stuff in the show today. Up next on Delmarva Live, proper care for your kids' curly whites. Could flossing be better than brushing? And when is it time to take them to the dentist? And just months after releasing his debut album, Preston native Eric Card stops by the Delmarva Life stage. Or, yeah, I guess we'd call it a stage, couldn't we? Sure. We're going to get a full performance in just a little bit. Delmarva Life, live at its best, here on Delmarva Life. <laughs> Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897, and your local York and Mitsubishi dealers.